Yeah, let's go for it. Let's do it. Watching turn. Of course. Nice try. All right, the good news. Stop. Yep. He was delaying it. I thought so. He was just trying to deceive me the whole time. That was the purpose behind that. Oh, he did get it. I was hoping I could hit this and he would be stuck with it. That's fine. Yep. That's good. I am happy. He's down to 9 income now. And I've got a stack here. Yeah. He's in trouble now. That was probably the death blow. Probably. Yeah. 9 he can only hit me with. Let's see. 9 plus 8, 17. So. Analyze. Let's see. I think it's 11 that might be good. Yeah, 11's good. So I'll just place enough to make sure he can't kill me. And I can place everything else over here. Pretty much. Pretty much. Mm hmm. Yeah, now I don't know what he can do here. I'm not sure what he could try. He's pretty much dead in the water. From what I can see, anyway. Can't take this. Okay, do I have... I do have a reconnaissance card to play. Of course, now I know he was just saving the card, so... It doesn't really... Help at all. Um... Yeah, let's play it there. And then what else do we have? Cards. I can't do anything else yet. Yeah. I'm definitely not going to attack here. And he can do whatever he wants as far as I'm concerned over here. Well, track or transfer, it doesn't matter. <coughs> 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 Whew. All right. Analyze if you have 12 defending. I'm just curious if this... How many you'll lose? 12. Attacker will lose 8 for sure. So if I have 11, attacker will also lose 8. Meaning this guy is not important. He can come in as late as he wants. I won't kill any more guys because of him. So I don't care if he's later or not. But you, I'd rather get in faster. Just because there's a chance you can die. Okay. Over here. I'll move you down there. Um, yeah. He, uh, he hit with three in this one, right? I think I saw him hit with three. Three, yep. So he hit with three over here as well. Or did he have seven that he could attack with? Ten. Did I mean turn ten? Let's see. Nine. He lost one, so he had eight, so it's seven. Yeah, yeah. He hit with four here. So he still got to take this out to be able to get it. Meaning if he hit with one here, he could hit with five from here. And since he hit with four, he had three left over, so two, so he'd need to place three guys here to take it. And if he placed three guys here to take it, well, then he can't defend this, can he? Really? I mean, I guess he could, potentially. I doubt it. I'll just hit with two here. Or, actually, yeah, could. Could it with like hmm. three here? Yeah, three would work. 
And then five here. Yeah, that'll work. And then... Hmm. Well, what can he do here? He really can't do anything, really. Why am I even worrying about this? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. It doesn't matter what he tries to do here. And I'll just take this so that I can make sure I keep a spot because he won't defend this because it's not important. Or I could be careful. Let's see, the most he could hit me with out of here would be nine. Oh wait, he could hit me with a bunch actually. Let's see, what could he do here? I'll definitely be able to bring these guys in in time. So I'd have 15 guys. He'd be able to hit me with nine, so 12, four, well 12, yeah 12, 14, 22. 22 will that take me? Analyze attack. Assume defender has... how many do I have? 15? If I make it in there? No, he wouldn't be able to take me. He would... Be, would he be able to take 14 though? No. Okay, then I'm pretty much safe. I mean, he can't do anything. <laughs> There's, there's nothing he can do. Really. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing. He can do whatever he wants to try here. He should use his order delay this turn, though, if he hasn't already. Well, actually... Yeah, wait. Turn 11. So this is turn 12 that we're on. He only missed one card piece. He did get one last turn, so yeah, he, he's got another uh, order delay card. Okay. Just wanted to make sure about that. Hmm. So yeah, his only hope would be to take this out. And that's not going to happen. I mean, I'm... I don't need to be in a hurry to move, even if he does manage to take this, he's still behind. And I've still got a stack in his territory that he really can't do much about. Eight, seven. Hmm. hmm. See, I want to attack with a, uh, with like, I want to attack one of these spots, but dang it. The trouble is, if he gets a prediction right, and then wallops this guy right here. Um, because he'd kill more on the defense if he got a prediction right. And of course, if he placed everything here, then I'd be, well actually no, if he placed everything here, then I'd be fine. If he placed everything here, then actually I should just hit first move, shouldn't I? Looks like I should. 15. If I hit first move, then the best he could do is if he hit with this, and got in a first move. Oh wait, no, if I got in first move, <coughs> if I got in first move and hit this uh, and he placed 9 there and had 11 or no 10 then I would lose 7 guys so I would have 7 less here so 8 and then these guys would kill 5 these would kill 2 and these would kill 1 and he'd take me 
See that? That is the start of problems. That is not good. That is not what I want. I do not need this to happen. If I attack here, the 13, and he places 9 there, so he has 12, he'll kill 8 on the defensive, I remember that from here, so I'll lose 8 guys, so I'll have 7 left, I'll lose 5 from this and 2 from this, hmm, well that's not good at all. So what if I attack with three here? And ten here? How would this work? Now if he placed everything here, then he'd only be able to get one attack in before I got my second one. So if he placed everything here, well, he if he if he guessed right, then I'd still lose terribly. So I guess it all depends. Uh, it's terrible, you know. It's just terrible. History last turn. Did he get? Oh. Okay. Okay. Never mind. That was his first move, right? No, th this is me. I got confused about my color. Okay. <laughs> okay. It was my first move last time, so this time it should have... Yeah, this was fine. This, this actually went in the right order. He hasn't used his order priority card, or at least made it obvious yet. He might have used it on one of the turns where, where he was doing first move stuff. Anyway. All right. Let's see. You transfer, you will not attack or transfer, you will transfer only. There's no point to attacking. You will not win. <laughs> hmm. Oh man. I'm never really sure. It's like I just got to hope. Man, I just got to hope gotta hope that he doesn't guess exactly what I'm doing or anything close Gah. okay so if he transfers three in here and I hit that I'd still take it that's good if he hits with everything here first move then I of course would not take it I would take this so long as he didn't place stuff there. Because I'll definitely get my second move in before, or my first move in, which would be the second move overall, because he'll get first move. If I get second move, which I will, then this guy would definitely get in before these two could make any moves. So this, this should work, hopefully. We'll see. I mean, I feel like I could just sit still and be perfectly fine. So I'm not sure if I really need to do this. In fact, I don't think I do. Dang it, man. Dang it. Dang it. I really don't need to do it. I don't need to. So why? <laughs> I mean, he's not... He's got to try and do a tricky thing like that over here to win the game. He's got to rely on me making a mistake like that. So there's no point to me trying to do that. It doesn't help. As long as I keep a spot over here, I've got a lead in income. I'm fine. <laughs> if I, As long as I can keep him from getting another bonus, that's what's important. If 
If I could get over here, that would be a plus, but I mean, it's not that important. So long as I don't move into him, I'm fine, really. Alright, well, we'll see what happens when Odorin does his turn. And a turn has advanced, so let's check it. And of course you can see he surrendered, so obviously things didn't go too badly. Alright. Yep, I won as long as I didn't like screw up really bad. Once I got in here, that was really it, and stopped him from getting over here. And of course he couldn't get over here, so yeah, he did get next to a... Uh, Alencia, but I broke in Thula, so he's pretty much screwed, even if I give up this. I'm... Yeah, so things went great. I could have been a little more greedy there and gone for these guys, uh, but I did not. And that's fine. It worked out well. So, game summary, first of all. Ooh, oh man, line graphs now. Whoa. I could share it on Facebook if I want. So yeah, he had more armies than me for a while there. Doesn't mean much <laughs> overall. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that was a great game. That worked out well for me. I held on. I did what I was supposed to do there. All right, you can see my picks, of course. Just to review, I went one in Amara. 2 and Harkio, or Harchio, whatever, Forenia, 3, Lacroix, 4, Betonia, and Tejita. Tejada, I mean. Or Tejada. I don't know. Odorin, who stole my color, that evil jerk, uh, went 1, Forenia, 2, 3, and Betonia, and Tejada. He was going for this combo, clearly. Um... And this seems more like it was, uh, I guess, to counter this, because he decided this was important, but just in case, I guess. Seems a little strange, because if he lost one of these, I don't know, Tejada, and ended up with these two, that would be a little... Oh yeah, it's a one-turn take, never mind, he could do it. That would be fine, I guess. So that would, yeah, that would work out. His picks were interesting, and then Bapple or Bapel over here, that's not bad. Good idea, get this little three off in the corner. Nice. Um, so let's see what happened. As we can tell, I got my one, so he knew I was there. And he did not know about my other locations. I didn't know about his either, but you know, this seems likely that you would be somewhere on this main continent. Especially since I got places that were, I got some of the good places that were outside of that continent, so. All right, looking through here. I don't know he's here, but I guess he might be. So I work on this first and that. And I take both of my bonuses by turn two. Oh wait. What am I saying? I'm sorry, I'm stupid. An error occurred, oh no. Alright, let's look at this. Was that my one as well? No, that was my three. That's why. Okay, alright, my bad. I knew about his pick. What am I saying? I obviously... I'm not clear. I'm getting confused by him having the same color as me. It's so weird. Look, I'm meant to be blue, alright? This is what I'm used to. If anybody else is blue, I think you're me, and it really confuses me. Uh, alright, so I knew about him. Gosh. <sighs> I knew about him, so I knew I could take this on turn two to keep him from getting the bonus. Gosh. What am I saying? So I got these, and I managed to take Shundi. Boom, baby. That worked out well. I should have, I, I don't know what I was doing here, to be honest. I don't really know what I was doing there. 
This seems pretty stupid. Why was I so worried about this? <laughs> Gosh, what was I doing? Are you am I serious right now that I did that? I can't believe I misplayed that so terribly. Wow. That that is so easy to play and I just screwed it up. I obviously needed to keep stuff in sh I don't even know what I was thinking here. So oh man, he's gonna go over here. He obviously knows I have him poor man. Oh my god. He doesn't know. There's no way of knowing that. I should have just held this. Gosh. I would have won the game so much quicker if I had done that. And he would have hit me and lost everything. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? What a misplay. And of course I screw up there just like that. And hit him last move, but of course it doesn't work because he was playing conservative. It was a good idea, but it didn't work out. I was hoping he would play stuff in Shundi. I would get the first move in, he'd hit me. I'd take him down enough and then take him back. But, you know, whatever. It didn't work out. So he just starts expanding and taking Macolia. And I trick him there. That works out. The only issue is he had enough back to defend. So, he's got more income than I do. We've got to play efficiently, which we have been so far, but... Okay, he just gives it up. And... I am not in a terrible position here. He's in a better spot than I am, though. Uh, as long as I don't go here. Oh. Which is exactly what I did, so. I'm like, oh, you know what? He's probably in the middle. So let's check that. And I go there, say hi. And he takes OC at the same time, so he's got a foothold in Lachesia. Lachesia. And uh, I'm in a very good position here at this point. The only issue is he's got an income lead and he's got a decent number of guys here. I don't know... okay that seems a little weird just because he had these guys here why didn't he use them? Okay he did defend And he didn't press the attack here because he was being conservative. Good news is I have a stack here. I just need to move it up. Okay, so I defend. I was doing a little delay here. That was it. Played conservatively, but he still hit Manji. He was being a little greedy there, trying to go for both things, but he, he covered it well. That was a good way to do it, splitting his income like that. I see, he moved these guys back, okay. If he moved down here, or over here, the game probably would have ended a little differently. It would have been harder for me. Because I would have had to worry about this, this, and this. That would have been a nightmare. So I move some of these guys over, after of course making sure you can't come through here to get me. And I out delay him, so that's good. Excellent, we both use the delay cards. Alright, we he plays an order priority card, and I play an order priority card. I was going for here. He successfully defended me twice in a row, which sucks for me. But at the same time, my moves over here have been solid enough to keep him at bay. He moved down here. I don't really like these moves that he's making over here, to be honest. I feel like if he would just would have just moved that guy to Texar or Croavia, whatever. 
Texar is probably a little bit better. It's a little debatable. Nah, Texar is better because you'd have to go around here to get to uh, Istan to border Kralanka, right? Or Tralanka. How do you pronounce that? Tralanka? Kralanka? I guess Kralanka. Um, so I had, uh, I still have this good border here. I've held it strong. I have a decent stack now. I have a little bit of an advantage over here. And I also have a lead over here as well. So this will be easier to defend. I'm in a really good spot right now. This is a very good position for me. Let's see how I played it. Looks like I went for this guy. Caught him off guard from the looks of it. And I moved over here. Yep, that makes sense. That's a decent play. I sidestep him over here so that he lay he places guys down in both of these locations to defend because he doesn't know which I'm gonna hit and he doesn't make a strong prediction either way like he has before uh, and he doesn't place here stuff here to defend basically I'm taking advantage of all the different stuff he has to worry about he has to worry about both of these and this so if I suddenly strike at this guy with a lot of force and sidestep him over here which I haven't done yet, so I haven't shown him that inclination to do that, then all of a sudden it catches him off guard. He has very limited reinforcements to use, even though he has more than I do, 14 to 11, but he has to use, he has to use them very carefully and he finally makes a misjudgment. A bad guess, basically, on what I do. So basically, I think what happened here is what won me the game is that turn and the next turn. Gaining this pretty clearly won me the game, I think. And I've held him off enough over here. He should have gone to Texar, I think. If he had done that, he would have done better. If he had would have played me a bit more minimalistically over here instead of playing me as strongly as he did, then he probably would have been fine in terms of you know breaking in over here and then um, being able to defend me a little easier over here because he wouldn't have these guys over here. This is a bit too much. And uh, I can understand though why he would do that. I mean, I can't really blame him for defending this. He just made a bad guess. His guess was that I would try something different over here. I completely decided against that and instead went to my Mifar or whatever it is and just sidestepped his stacks and retook Osea to give me some more income for the next turn. So that basically won me the game right here. I should have won the game like eight turns ago or seven turns ago when uh, when I was at this point. This should have been game. This right here should have been game. I should have won the game right here, right now from this position. This move, taking it and him not being ready for it, that won me the game. It really did, and then I screwed it up. Huge misplay here. Ridiculous. And that delayed my winning the game all the way to, uh, to turn 12. But hey, whatever, you know, it happens. I screwed up. I'm willing to own up to it. <laughs> that was a huge ass screw up. But you know what? Still won the game, still held on, still did enough. So that's what matters. Uh, just doing a little defense here, just in case he hits me with minimal numbers. Um, placed a little bit to make sure I could defend this, and then otherwise put pressure on this. I like his play here. Somewhat. Yeah, in fact, I, I it, it's a good guess. It's a good guess, it just didn't work out well. Um, It's a good guess. He had to try something. I had a double border on him over here and a decent stack here. He thought I might just try and place everything here and hit. A decent guess. I mean, it's worth a try. Unfortunately for him, that's not what I did. Basically, he was hoping I'd screw up, but I, I didn't. So, even though I did earlier. So, I managed to hold on. 
kept the spot. Took Kamari finally broke in here. It took me how long? Like four turns. I get I border it on turn seven. Turn eight, turn nine, he defends. Turn ten I sidestep. Turn eleven I break in. Yeah, so yeah, it took me four turns to get in there. But in the meantime, I also won a pretty good victory over here in Lachesia to and this area right over here was basically unimportant for most of the game until he finally took a stab at taking it and that's when I chose to exert a little effort over here because you know I realized he could take it so to keep him from getting more income I disturbed his movements there and in the meantime hold on over here and that's where we ended up so yep I I think I other than that one horrible move which is really inexcusable I mean I don't know what I was thinking I guess I was just being a moron at the time I mean I don't know how else to describe that uh, but, I mean, there's no excuse for this sort of thing. I mean, you obviously hold should be. There's no... I mean, come on. <laughs> Overthinking myself, I guess. I, uh, but anyway, other than that one horrible move, I played the game fairly well. And I managed to uh, to hold on over here after getting a double border. Uh, and, and ex I exerted pressure in the right circumstances or in the right places at the right times. That's really what happened here. After that one bad move, I made the right moves for the most part. And uh, he made good moves too. His, his defense of uh, Kimari and Lisa, those were both pretty good. Uh, it delayed me and made it a lot harder for me and made me feel a lot more pressure as well. It was, uh, it was a difficult game between uh, two good players. Odorun's a good player. I wish I hadn't have screwed up my easy win though, but <laughs> hey, anyway, so it was a good game. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I'll be uploading more Warlight soon. I will see you guys next time.